I feel her hands. I see her maw, blood gushing from her unhinged jaw, her fingers cold ice, play the bones in my neck, mud on the floor from her long, slow trek. The door hangs open, do I have time to run? Or could I reach in my nightstand and pull out my gun? Her hand crushes my throat. I can't make a peep. If you kill your wife, make sure you bury her deep. I'm the last one here. Those things have killed everyone else. Those things with the huge wings, with the beady eyes, with the sharp claws. Every time I close my eyes, I see my co-workers being ripped apart. A few of us made it to the building here, but even here we aren't safe. I watched them get picked off one by one, screaming as they fought against death. I tried to stop it, I swear I did, I tried. Now I'm running through the building to the main power center, with no one else to ask. I'm tasked with pressing one of these buttons. Either I'll press the red button, or the green button. Supposedly, one button will turn the power doors back on, protecting us from, what, protecting us from whatever that shrieking, hungry, and angry thing is outside. That's the red button. The other button is green and opens the opposite side power door. And I can only imagine what might be out there. Why had I agreed to come and research in this lab? I think as ironic I can hear the screeches behind me. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Why did I lie on my application? Why didn't I admit I was colorblind? When they began shooting everyone who had taken refuge in the church, I pretended that I was hit and collapsed behind my friends. Now that they're showering my friends' bodies with gasoline, I really wish I would have gotten a shot anything but the agony of being burnt alive. If you're ever alone and in bed at night, and the only thing that you can hear is yourself breathing heavily, try this. Suddenly and randomly, stop breathing. You'll trip it up. Now you know it's there, and now it knows too. Sleep well. For the past three years, each January, there is a bizarre online puzzle game that is hosted by someone who calls themselves 3301. Their symbol is a cicada. The complex puzzles draw on elements of cryptography, mathematics, literature, hidden messages, data security, and philosophy. Physical clues appear in places as diverse as Poland, Hawaii, Spain, Australia, and Korea. 3301 claims that its puzzles attempt to find intelligent individuals. They don't say why. Many believe these nearly impossible puzzles are a recruitment vehicle for organizations like the CIA or M16. My grandmother passed away recently, 
and it is standard practice with us Victorians to photograph our recently departed. We, meaning myself and my parents, did this with my grandmother, and had a photograph of her hanging about the fireplace. That night, I felt as though I was being watched, but couldn't place what it was. So I struck a match and lit the nearby kerosene lamp to illuminate the room. Instantly, my eyes were drawn to the picture of my grandmother. Her eyes were open, and she had a hand outstretched pointing at me. I thought to myself, how is this possible? And more importantly, why is she pointing at me? It was only when my lamp was blown out from in back of me did I realize she wasn't pointing at me. She was pointing behind me. I let my little girl sleep with me at night. I like to snuggle with her. Despite the increasingly pungent smell of her rotting flesh. Being the first to respond to a fatal car accident is always the most traumatic thing I see as a police officer. But today, when the crushed body of a little boy strapped in his car seat opened his eyes and giggled at me when I tried to peel him out of the wreckage, I immediately knew that today would be my last day on the force. Her fingers, cold ice, play the bones. Wait, no, nah, that's not, that's not the start of, that's, see, that's the middle.